here is the same question once again and it says without actually performing long division state whether the given rational number will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion also write down the decimal expansion of that number which have terminating decimal expansion so let us see how to solve this question first of all we shall collect the denominator of this rational number and we get Sixteen hundred, and now we shall factorize this sixteen hundred into its prime factors by prime factorization method. So first we shall divide this sixteen hundred by two to get eight hundred, and we see that this eight hundred can also be divided by two to get four hundred. 400 is also divisible by 2 to get 200 and we see again that this 200 is also divisible by 2 to get 100 and 100 can also be divided by 2 to get 50 and now we can divide this 50 also by 2 to get 25. Now this 25 can also be divided by 5 to get 5 and 5 is only divisible by 5 and 1 so we get 1 as quotient now we shall write this 1600 into product of its prime factors so like this 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 6 times and 5 into 5 2 times and we can also write this 2 like this 2 raised to 6 because 2 is multiplied 6 times and 5 raised to 2 the power of 5 is 2 because 5 is multiplied 2 times now we see that this 2 raised to 6 multiplied by 5 raised to 6 is just according to we observe that 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 5 to the power 2 is in the form of two to the power m and five to the power n and there is no another prime number in the prime factors of 1600 so we conclude 15 over 1600 has a terminating decimal expansion. Now we shall move to the second part of the question which says to find the decimal expansion of a terminating decimal expansion. So now we shall convert this 15 over 1600 into its decimal expansion. And we have already factorized this 1600 into the form of 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 5 to the power 2. And now we shall make the powers of 2 and 5 equal by multiplying both numerator and denominator by 5 to the power 4. Now we get that this 15 and 5 to the power 4 is equal to 625. And we can write this denominator as 2 to the power 6 and 5 to the power 6 also.
Now we shall multiply this 15 and 625 to get 9375 and when we expand this number uh, we get 1 with 6 zeros and uh, writing it into decimal expansion we shall uh, make equal number of digits in both denominator and numerator so we shall put 3 zeros before this 9375 to make 7 digits in numerator and here is 7 digits in denominator. Now we shall count because here is 6 zeros in denominator. So we shall count from right to left uh, like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we shall put our decimal between these two zeros. So this is 0 0.009375. This is our answer. Thank you.